Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel where all things Mercedes are discussed and celebrated. Uh, first of all, we want to thank our subscribers for checking in and I, I think we're adding more of you every day, so this is wonderful. Uh, next, I also want to thank those of you who have shared because sharing is a wonderful way to, to dispel this kind of information. Uh, today we're going to talk about more stuff pertaining to the adjustment of the electrohydraulic actuator because we had a question from Giuseppe who has a 300 CE. I presume it's a 92 and I presume it's a 24 valve model but if I'm wrong it still applies. Giuseppe the only way this won't apply is if you have a 93 that has the M104 engine with HFM injection. So. Uh, he's experiencing an off idle stumble, and this coincides with a lot of EHA adjustments that we we see. Now, the other question I had was, should I adjust the EHA with it unplugged or plugged in? And this is truly an important question because it translates into your final fuel economy. First of all, when you're adjusting the EHA, the universal adjustment for all Mercedes using a fuel pressure gauge that has a connection to the lower and the upper chamber is 0.4 bar. That means your difference between your high reading and your low reading should be 0.4. The thing is, when do you evaluate this reading? Well, for the longest time, uh, that, that question kept coming in, and so I'm sorry I haven't gotten to the answer sooner, but you're supposed to unplug the EHA and adjust the pressure difference to 0.4 bar. Then plug it back in and see how the car does. If you still have a hesitation, if your difference is, is 0.4 bar unplugged, go ahead and richen it up just a little bit more by turning the 2 millimeter Allen screw in the EHA uh, clockwise just a little bit more like maybe 5 to 10 degrees. So we're going in teeny tiny increments. If you don't see improvement in your performance off the line than something else is going on. So that's the, uh, that's the small detail about EHA adjustment that I've shared with you today. And if you have questions about that, especially you, Giuseppe, please feel free to, uh, to keep giving us some feedback. And in the meantime, keep subscribing to our channel, share us with your friends, and enjoy driving your Mercedes Benz.